Bigfoot, the Loch Ness Monster, and the American Peace Plan. There's an occasional sighting, but never a firm confirmation. Israel's Channel 13 reported on Wednesday of a recent briefing given by a senior U.S. official on the topic. So what details reportedly came out of that meeting? A Palestinian state would be formed in 85 to 90 percent of the West Bank, an area more than double what the Palestinian Authority controls today. That would necessitate undefined land swaps in order to make up for some of the territory Israel would lose control over. The big settlement blocks like Gush Etzion, Male Adamim, and Ariel would become part of Israel. Construction would be permanently frozen in more isolated settlements like Yitzhar and Itamar, and any settlement outposts illegal under Israeli law would be evacuated. On one of the big questions, Jerusalem, according to the briefing, the holy city would become a shared capital, with Israel in West Jerusalem and parts of East Jerusalem, and a Palestinian capital in the other parts of East Jerusalem. And the so-called Holy Basin, including the Temple Mount and Old City, would remain under Israeli sovereignty. The religious status quo would remain in effect, and the Palestinians, Jordanians, and perhaps other entities would play a role in administering the holy sites. America's peace plan point man, Jason Greenblatt, denied the report's accuracy, calling speculation about the plan's contents unhelpful, irresponsible, and harmful. The new right party, headed by hardliners Naftali Bennett and Ayala Chiked, issued a statement calling President Trump a true friend of Israel, but adding that Israel's security comes first and that they won't sit in a government that divides Jerusalem and establishes a Palestinian state. The Palestinians weren't keen on the report either, with Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas's spokesman saying any plan not established along the pre-1967 lines with all of East Jerusalem as the capital would fail. As to the chances we will actually see a peace plan? I don't really think so. Look, I've been one who's always said that this is one thing Trump wants to do. He knows very little about very many things in foreign affairs. He knows something about this. But his administration is so, frankly, incompetent that I don't see them getting it off the ground. I mean, that's really the question. And frankly, I don't think either side right now is ready. I don't think Netanyahu could possibly accept anything. I mean, he'll try to say not say no if it ever comes. And the Palestinians certainly are not in a place to say yes to anything. If you actually do see the American peace plan, try to get it on video. But for your safety, don't approach it. Mike Wagenheim, I-24 News.